For the 50th edition of the Berlin Marathon, the event organizers have decided to set up a temporary museum of the marathon, documenting all the iconic races from 1974 up to 2023. And let's come and take a look. Right here we have the medals given to the runners after they finish the Berlin Marathon and each medal has a plaque, a plaque of history, a connection to the Berlin Marathon and in, since 1978 it's been given to Olympic champions and people who, runners, elite marathon run, runners who have set world records at the Berlin Marathon or have won the Olympic Marathon and we do have Tegla Lorupe, Samuel Wanjiru. Paul Tergrad, Patrick Macau, and in the last three editions, it's been Perez Chirte, Eliud Kipchoge having their plaque on the medals. On display is the evolution of shoes. This is the shoe that was used in 1970s. I don't think you can use this shoe right now. The number of blisters you're gonna get on your foot, running 42 kilometers, ah, countless. And then you have uh, the 1990s, uh, this is a Reebok shoe. It was a special edition shoe. And of course, if you, once you progress forward, you're gonna see the shoes that were used by different runners to set world records. This right here was used by Haile himself in 2010. And then we come here to the orange shoe, the Adi Zero Adios 2, used by our very own Patrick Macau. And next up is Adi Zero Adios 2 Boost, used by Wilson Kipsang. And lastly, look at that shoe. Can you compare it to the first shoe? I bet you can't. Of course you can't. This is the Adidas Adi Zero Adios Pro Evo 1, used by Tigist Asefa to win the 2023 marathon and of course to set a world record. You can catch the historic 50th edition of the Berlin Marathon this Sunday only on NTV.